Hello internet friends and family. Today is Thursday, April 4th, 2013 and we have some high clouds up here. It's kind of, uh, it's nice. The temp is really nice. A little breeze. I have to show you. There's all these wildflowers in bloom down the street. All the way down there. Go down there. So that's that's really cool. So today um, I wanted to share with you my first kitty litter purchase, which was when I lived in Washington D.C. When I moved out there from Southern California, being a California girl, I was paranoid about getting stuck in snow, and so I was told I could carry a shovel in my trunk and or kitty litter, because kitty litter would help if I got stuck, I, I could get out. So I opted for the kitty litter. I bought like a bag, like a 10 pound, 20 pound bag of kitty litter that I literally carried in my trunk for at least five years, at least. And then it came time to move to Ohio and leave Washington DC, where mind you, I parked in an underground parking garage uh, where I lived in my condo. And I drove to work on paved roads and I parked under the building in my office building. So it wasn't like I was in rural Ohio, which is where I moved. So the ironic, file is under ironic, what was I thinking? When I moved from Washington, D.C., I'm like, well, I don't want to take this cat litter with me. The crystal ball was not working, apparently. So I put it on Craigslist and gave it to somebody. I'm like, I'm not going to need this when I move to Ohio. When I moved to Ohio, my house was out in a very rural area. The driveway was dirt on a very steep incline down into where the house was. Rural area, not as well plowed as DC. I never got stuck in um, Ohio in snow. I did slip off my driveway once every year, <laughs> every spring. It would be icy and as I was trying to go up the hill, I would slip off and go into the mud. And that is what AAA is for, to come and pull you out. And that's what they did, both times. Um, but the ironic thing is, I moved to, to Southern Ohio in a very rural area. I end up acquiring four cats, and like I said, living in this very rural area where I'm probably more likely to get stuck in snow than I ever was in Washington, D.C. And yet I gave away my 10 to 20 pound bag of cat litter before I moved from Washington, D.C. I just laughing about that the other day when I saw that video on how to decorate with cat litter. It just kind of took me back to that time like, why did I do that? Why did I give away that cat litter? If nothing, I mean, I, I could have had the potential to use it just as much in Ohio as I had the potential of using it in Washington, D.C. And with the acquisition of four cats, clearly I could have used it then too. But it went to a good home. And there you have it. There's my story of the first cat litter purchase I ever made and never used. Gave off to somebody else. And now I buy cat litter on a regular basis for my cats. So I hope you're having a great day. I will talk to you tomorrow.